For nearly two months now, Jacqueline Williams has wanted to pay a visit to this Tupelo firehouse. Hello and welcome to Station City. My name is Brian. I'm Jacqueline. She wanted to personally thank the men who helped save her life. Back on October 17th, Williams was at a family gathering in West Tupelo when she realized something wasn't right. I start feeling hot. The 48-year-old mother and grandmother passed out. That's when a family friend who was also a licensed practical nurse took action. Didn't feel a pulse or um, anything, so initiated CPR. Meanwhile, several calls were made to 911, and the men from C-Shift were on the scene within minutes. I noticed two men were out in the yard, and, and of course you could tell they were excited. Uh, they were given the big arm twirl and the you know, trying to show us where it was at. Her condition was dire. So critical, in fact, that firemen used an automatic external defibrillator to resuscitate Williams. Later that evening, the men of Station 6 received word that Williams was doing fine. Seeing her again in better circumstances was a special treat. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you know, a big smile on her face and just lets us know that we're doing what we were meant to do, and that's to serve the community. Williams enjoyed her first tour of a fire station and even was guest of honor at lunchtime. She says her life has changed for the better since that October evening. She watches what she eats, monitors her blood pressure regularly, and has a message for family, friends, and a group of special firemen. It's not like I woke up that particular morning and said, oh, this going to happen to me today. I didn't know it because I was doing fine. So I thought, well, just be thankful for every given moment that you're given. And I'll forever be grateful. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News. <laughs> I'm sorry.